PlayStation 3 versus the Xbox 360. Which retro gaming console should you buy in 2023? Let's talk about it. In terms of just the state of play for both consoles, the PlayStation 3 now is becoming a hot commodity in terms of its resellable games, its consoles. The original PlayStation 3 is very hard to find. The PlayStation 3 Slim is also a very good console to get in 2024. Now, the Xbox 360 is also a really good game and people are saying that the games resellable are actually becoming a hot commodity at this point too. The Xbox Series X has amazing backwards compatibility, which means the reselling market for the Xbox 360 isn't as popular as the PlayStation 3 resellable market because the PlayStation backwards compatibility just isn't there. I think they still want some value with the PlayStation 3 and that's why they haven't upgraded their library, maybe. That's just an assumption, but you know what? Let's just stick with it. The PlayStation 3 was an awesome console with amazing hardware that definitely has better hardware than the Xbox 360. The Xbox 360 was really good for community gameplay. For example, online gameplay, connect, all those sorts of things. But because of the online gameplay sort of ending with this cycle of these two gaming consoles, the Xbox 360 sort of loses its value in the long term because the Xbox 360 online store is closing, you know, online gameplay will be closing with the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 will still sort of be kept around for a little bit longer and the resellable market plus the exclusives have more of a value in the long term, if that makes sense. We got the games like The Last of Us, the Metal Gear Solid range, the Ratchet and Clank range, the Uncharted range, the Spider-Man range, all these sorts of games sort of came out in this PlayStation 3 era. They still hold value to this day. Even the God of War 3 value still goes up to this day, you know? So PlayStation 3, I feel like has a bit more value in the long term. Now, in terms of which consoles to get, I've already talked about them in this channel. Let's look at it from a whole standpoint. So the PlayStation 3 Slim is probably the one you want to go for. The PlayStation 3 original console is a very hard console to get. It's a bit more expensive than your Xbox 360, and it is because of the hot commodity of the console. People are still looking for it because, you know, the backwards compatibility with the PlayStation isn't there and they want to get those PlayStation 3 memories back into their life or maybe their PlayStation 3 is broken so then they want to keep playing it which is why people get the PlayStation 3 today same as obviously the Xbox 360 but the reason why they want the PlayStation 3 is for those games now the PlayStation Plus membership has definitely improved over time they've definitely added a lot of games such as Resident Evil for example, Kingdom Hearts Assassin's Creed, they've definitely included a lot of their libraries. They've also rejuvenated games with remasters, such as the Arkham series, they've remastered that. Even games like Red Dead Redemption and A Dead Undead Nightmare, for example, as well. But nothing beats that original PlayStation 3 gameplay, and there's games on it that have not been remastered. LA Noir, for example, Mafia 1 and 2, potentially, as well. And there's plenty of games that we can even talk about, like original Ratchet and Clank games, original God of War games and all that, that have not been remastered yet for the newest generation. God of War 3 does have a remaster for that new generation, and that was Transcendence for the PlayStation 3. If we look at both consoles holistically, we all knew that the PlayStation 3 just had better hardware overall, which increased the price. But now, obviously, it's super affordable. Like, it's under $200 and you can get yourself a PlayStation 3. So it's definitely affordable now. And you get the Blu-ray disc player with the original and the slim edition of the PlayStation 3. Some of the hardware has been downgraded with the PlayStation 3 Slim. It does have 1080p gameplay with certain games as well, so that is actually very impressive. Even some Gran Turismo games actually still look really good on the PlayStation 3. During this era as well, what I love is that blurry effect with some of the Gaussian blur of like some of the scenes and stuff. Incredible, like games like 
Assassin's Creed Black Flag, like just an incredible game that deserves a remaster. Just an incredible game. AC Rogue, once again, like a really fun game. The PlayStation 3 definitely became more popular over time, which is why it's just a more hotter commodity. And there's still, there's still games that people seek after that still find value to this day with the PlayStation 3. Now the Xbox 360 also was the more popular console during the life cycle over a longer period of time. And the Xbox backwards compatibility isn't 100% there. There's still games that I go back to with the Xbox 360 and I absolutely love it. I still play the Xbox 360 a little bit more than the PlayStation 3. I got the PlayStation 3 last year for the first time, right? And I played Xbox 360, I played Skyrim on the Xbox 360, which is cross-compatible. I play games like FIFA Street, which is cross-compatible. So I played games that were cross-compatible on both consoles. Overall, I'm just seeing the more long-term value with the PlayStation 3 more than the Xbox 360 at this point. The Xbox 360 definitely still plays games that you can't replicate with the Xbox Series X because of the backwards compatibility not being 100% there. Games like Ultimate Alliance, all the EA games like Need for Speed Underground, for example, which I've mentioned a few times on this channel previously. There definitely needs to be remasters of these games. If not, they should definitely try and make them backwards compatible, but there's a million games out there on that list. And the online store is ending this year with the Xbox 360, so it's definitely something you want to get your hands on before that time. If not, then you're missing out. And with the Xbox 360, I find I like the controller, but the PlayStation 3 controller just has that analog controller that I really love. The PlayStation 3 definitely has a better controller, I find, overall for the long term, because it preserves well and it is a good controller yeah so in terms of its online services you know because both consoles are ending at the end of the year in terms of its online services you know playstation 3 is probably going to have more of the value than the xbox 360 although the exclusives for the xbox 360 are still great you got gears of war which was great you got halo which was great but all of these are getting remastered for the latest generation Whereas a lot of games for the PlayStation 3 that are exclusives, most of them have been like remastered, but you can't play them like the original way on the PlayStation 3. And that's what holds near and dear to a lot of people's hearts, which is why I think the PlayStation 3 still has that value. In terms of backwards compatibility as well with the PlayStation 3, the original one does have the backwards compatibility with the PlayStation 2, the Xbox, 360 you need this extra hard drive to be able to fit original Xbox games into the Xbox 360 console as well The Xbox 360 is a little bit cheaper in 2024 if you wanted to get one I've got the Xbox 360 e Fantastic console to get while the PlayStation 3 this one is one of the original sort of models I believe you know, there's a super slim version, which is also pretty good but this, this tray is pretty flimsy. You know, this version is a bit more robust and more better for the long term of gameplay as well. So I hope you guys do your research on the market. Please let me know your thoughts and feelings down below of which console you guys prefer. And let me know. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time.